Do you have a domain name and looking for a perfect solution to host your WordPress website? Then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradnyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and UDM instructor. This video is sponsored by Linode. Linode provides virtual servers that make it easy and affordable for you to host anything in the cloud. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can set up your WordPress website on Linode within 10 minutes. Before we start the tutorial, check out this super amazing offer by Linode. You can get started on Linode today with $100 in free credit. The link is in the video description. Alright, in order to follow this tutorial, you need to have a domain name registered with any domain name registrar and a Linode account. I already have logged into my Linode account and I have a test domain named pnsite.xyz registered here on namechip.com. Inside Linode's admin panel, you can see this left hand side column. There are many services provided by Linode like volumes, node balancers, firewalls, Kubernetes, object storage and so on. Explaining about each service is beyond the scope of this tutorial. You can explore each service by yourself and check out Linode's documentation. Here in this tutorial, we will set up a web hosting account for our WordPress website. And in order to create a new web hosting for our website, we need to create a new Linode instance. On this Linode's page, you can see a list of my previously created and currently running Linode instances. We can create a new Linode instance by clicking this create Linode button or by using this top create button and select Linode. On this create page, there are multiple tabs like distribution, marketplace, stack script, etc. In case of distributions, you can install a Linux distribution on your server and do other configurations later by yourself. The stack scripts option is little advanced method where you can use some predefined script which automate your server configurations. The images option lets you deploy previously saved Linode instance image. The backups and clone Linode options are used to restore your Linode instance backup or clone an existing Linode instance. In this tutorial, we will set up a Linode instance with WordPress which is available under Marketplace tab. Not just WordPress, you can see here there are many other popular applications available with Linode instance. But here in our case, we will go with WordPress. I will select the WordPress option. Scroll down. And there are WordPress options that are required for WordPress installation on our server. The email address field is for WordPress administrator email ID. This email can be different than the one we are using for our Linode account. You can use your client's email or your own email ID. It's up to you. I will use my email ID. If you want, you can create a credentials file like this, but make sure to use your own information and passwords. I'll be using this temporary information and passwords for this setup. Please don't try to hack my website. All right. I'll copy my email address and paste in here. The admin username is the WordPress administrator username used to log into your WordPress admin panel. I'll copy paste my username. You can use your own username here. Next, the password for your WordPress admin given above. I'll copy and paste my password. Make sure to use a strong password. The password string should be a combination of capital letters, small letters, numbers and special symbols. You can change this password later from inside WordPress admin panel. The next field is MySQL root password. This is a root user or administrator password for your MySQL database. The MySQL database will store our WordPress or website data. I will enter my password here. The next field WordPress database password is the password that will be stored in your WordPress configuration file. 
So make sure to use a strong password here. I will paste my already created password here. Now under advanced options, enter your website title here. I will paste my website title. The limited sudo user to be created for the Linode. Just like when you install an operating system on your computer, you need to enter an administrator user that will use and manage that operating system. In case of Linux distribution that we are installing on our server, it creates a default root user. The root user has all privileges to that operating system. So it's a good practice to create another super user with limited privileges for our hosting account. Here we need to enter the username for that new sudo user. I will enter my super user username here and enter a strong password for your new super user. The SSH public key is more secure compared to password. It is used when you connect to your server via SSH or FTP application. You can explore this feature later. I am not adding any SSH key at this moment. For security reason, you can disable root user access over SSH. This can be done later via SSH. So I will select no option. Enter a password for your new Linode API token. It would automatically create some DNS records for our WordPress website. I will copy paste the password here. In subdomain, enter www and in domain field, enter your website domain. In my case, it's pnsite.xyz. Would you like to be able to send password reset email for WordPress? I will select no because we already have set a strong password here and we can change that password later from inside admin panel. The Let's Encrypt is a service which provides free SSL certificates for websites. As we can install the SSL certificate separately, I would select no here. The next section is to select Linux distribution image for our web hosting. Here Linode has provided only Debian 10 image with WordPress. So we can't change it to a different distribution here. So let's keep the default. The next option region is the location at which your Linode instance will get created. The rule of thumb is select a region which is closer to your targeted users. I mean the region that would be closer to your website visitors. For example, if my website is mainly for Indian users and majority of my website visitors come from India, then I should select Mumbai, which is located in India. If you are targeting worldwide visitors, you can select a region closer to a country from where you are getting more visitors. In my case, I will select Mumbai region. The next section is Linode plan. Dedicated CPU plans are good for performance. As the name suggests, in shared CPU plans, the resources are shared and you may get medium level performance. High memory plans are good for cases like caching and in-memory database. And if you really need some power, Linode also has GPU servers perfect for machine learning and neural net use built with RTX 6000 GPUs. If you are just starting out, I'll suggest you to start with a shared CPU plan. And once your website traffic or server use increases, you can upgrade it anytime. Since I'm creating this instance for tutorial purpose, I will go with a shared CPU plan. I will select the Nanode 1 GB plan, which is very basic and beginners level plan. On the next section, you can label your Linode instance. In my case, I'll name it as PN site. The tags are optional, but you can add if you want to. Please note this is very important option, so pay all your attention here. In the root password field, you need to enter a strong password. As I told earlier, the root user is the main user or administrator of the server. 
So make sure you have a very strong password here. Create a password string by mixing capital letters, small letters, numbers and special symbols. And most importantly, note it down somewhere or you won't be able to log into your server via SSH. I will paste my previously created root user password here. The SSH keys feature is more secure compared to root user password. In this tutorial, we are not going to use SSH keys, but you can check out Linode's documentation about how to set up SSH key and use it to connect to your server. The VLAN is optional and we don't need it in our case. Under add-on section, you can enable your hosting backup and use a private IP for your server. The add-on services come with additional charges. If you want to include or exclude these services, it's up to you. In my case, I am not going to add any add-on service. Once you are done, in the right hand column, you can see the plan summary and charges per month. Click create button to confirm and create a new instance. It would take a couple of minutes or less to create and run your Linode. Here you can see the status of your new Linode instance being created. Alright, my Linode instance has been created and it's in running state. I'll copy this IP address and note it down in my text editor. Now I will enter this IP address directly in my web browser. And if we see this WordPress website, then our Linode instance was created successfully. But this website is only accessible via IP address. The next thing we need to do is set up DNS records so that our domain is pointed to this IP address. It is really simple to set up DNS at your domain registrar. I will show you DNS setup options at two different domain registrars. Here I have logged in to my Ionos hosting account. Please note based on your domain name registrar, your dashboard might be a little different. But you will find a DNS setting in the domain dashboard area which would be somewhat similar to these settings. You can google how to set up DNS at your domain name register. Alright, in my case I have selected my domain name here. In case of name servers, we will be using domain name registers name servers here. So I will keep the defaults which are INS name server here. Now I will go to DNS setting. Here click add record button and select a record. For host name enter at symbol then in points to use your Linode's IP address. Use default or 5 minutes TTL and click save button. Since this isn't the actual domain which I am setting up. So I won't save the settings here. Similarly add another A record and now for host name enter www then in points to use the IP address of your Linode the default TTL option and save. If you gonna be using subdomain add another A record with name of your subdomain in hostname field like my subdomain the Linode IP address, TTL and save. Once you update DNS records at domain registrar, it would take a couple of minutes to hours to resolve. In some cases, it might take up to 48 to 72 hours to propagate the DNS worldwide. Wait for a couple of minutes to 10 minutes and enter your domain name in web browser and see if you are able to see your WordPress website. In my case, I'll be setting up my DNS at Namecheap. Here I have logged in to my Namecheap account. I will go to manage. For name servers option, if already not selected, select Namecheap basic DNS, save the option. Now go to advanced DNS option. 
Here under host records, click this add new record button. Select a record. For host name, enter at symbol and in value field, enter the IP address of your Linode instance. Select the TTL one minute and click this tick to save changes. Similarly, add another A record. And now for host name, enter www, then IP address of your Linode instance, the one minute TTL and save the changes. Once DNS setting is done at your domain name registrar, wait for a couple of minutes to 10 minutes and enter your domain name in web browser. I will enter my domain name in my web browser which is pnsite.xyz, press enter. And here in my case, it is resolved and opening the WordPress site we just installed. If you enter your domain name and see the WordPress website, then congratulations, your installation was successful. Now let's log in to our WordPress admin panel using the credential we entered while creating our Linode instance. If you have experience using WordPress, you might be familiar with its admin panel URL, which in my case would be like this. I'll copy paste my username and password. Submit login information. And sure enough, the login details are working as expected. Now from this WordPress admin area, you can install and change theme. Also, you can install plugins and do any customizations available in WordPress. Before we end this tutorial, let me quickly show you how you can connect to your server via SSH or FTP application like FileZilla. In my case, since I'm using Windows operating system, I'll be using Putty, which is a free and open source terminal emulator. If you are using macOS or Linux operating system, you can directly enter SSH connect command in terminal program. I have opened Putty. I'll enter my Linode IP address here. Click open button. Accept the server key. I'll use my super user username here. Press enter. And its password. Press enter and I am connected to the server. Now you can do server related configurations from here. Similarly, I will open FileZilla, enter Linode's IP address, enter sudo user username and its password. The port number would be 22. Press quick connect and we are connected to Linode server. The use of SSH and its commands use of FTP application is beyond the scope of this tutorial. So I won't go in details here. You can check out respected application documentation online. I will close the window here and congratulate you for completing this tutorial. Here in this video tutorial, we learned how to set up a WordPress website on Linode and it only took approximately 10 minutes to set up the website. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned from it. Now it's your time. Try to set up a website on your own and see how it works. If you encounter any error or didn't understand something, feel free to ask me questions in comment section of this video. Once again, I would like you to check out this offer by Linode. Support my channel by clicking on the link provided in video description and get started on Linode today with $100 free credit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.